What a headline. Backlash from Japanese players prompts national politician to investigate, quote, cultural theft of Assassin's Creed Shadows. So this is all to do with, of course, Assassin's Creed Shadows, the not great way they've been representing sort of Japanese history and things like that, making stuff up. And yeah, I mean, look, it's it's not just white people that have an issue with this, all right? Japanese players aren't happy about it either. And so now politicians like, ah, yeah, we could we could investigate this, to be honest. It's almost reminiscent, I would say, of the whole Cleopatra situation with Egypt, where Egypt was like, yeah, we want to sue you, Netflix. This is cultural appropriation. Fascinating stuff. Here, subscribe if you're new here. Do turn those burn notifications on. Let's take a look. Uh, I mean, I, this it's just it's just comical more than anything else. Like this was bound to happen at one point eventually, wasn't it? You know how far do you think you you can push people until they snap? So a Japanese politician is investigating after players within his country leveled complaints of cultural theft against Ubisoft's uh, upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows. So the politician in question, Satoshi Hamada, is a member of the House of Councillors, the upper house of the Japanese national uh, diet. I, I'm, I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but never mind, is what it is. So one of the two members of the independent party to protect the people from NHK, a party whose platform is built on opposing the government broadcasters' TV all but mandatory licensing fees, and whose membership has fallen apart uh, following a recent leadership dispute. Hamada has recently joined the ranks of the many Japanese nationals who have found themselves outraged over the numerous historical inaccuracies presented in Ubisoft's upcoming game. I mean, rightly so. I think it's fair to be annoyed about this. You know? This kind of twisting of history. It does get old. Especially when it's deliberate. On July 11th, Hamada retweeted a post from a fellow Japanese ex-user summarising the various issues local players have had with the Assassin's Creed Shadows presentation. Such as how some of its buildings feature Chinese instead of Japanese architecture. That's pretty bad. Uh, or how a lowly servant can be seen sitting on the same level as Oda Nobunaga himself. It's pretty bad. And it's just lazy. Alongside this retweet, the politician made, quote, a request for opinions to the general public, as machine translated via Deep L, informing them, quote, We have received a consultation regarding the alteration of Japanese history by a French game company. We share the consultation below with images. We have also quoted a post that we believe points out the problems with the game in question and we would be happy to receive your comments and suggestions including specific requests. So uh, Hamada shared a list of re related concerns that had already been brought to his attention which in addition to the above points also made note of the possibility that Yasuke's prominence in the game plot could lead to the misconception that he had a bigger role in Japanese history than he actually did. Ah, so funny. We're going to say now, guys, a Japanese person saying it. You're going to call him racist as well? Because apparently anyone that has any issue with this sort of falsification of history surrounding this black samurai, quote-unquote samurai, loads of people just, they just like, racist! Like, my God, shut up, it's so... It's so boring and lazy to use that as an insult now. Especially when the, the comments are justified. Like, come on. So funny. Anyway, less than 24 hours later, Hamada shared an update. Says, uh, quote, Thank you for your many comments about the new Assassin's Creed series of games set in Japan. In relation to the above, we received a consultation from another person about cultural theft and cultural invasion regarding Yasuke, a black man who served Nobunaga Oda. I will share the content of the consultation with you. So from there, Hamada proceeded to share two tweets worth of images following uh, showing feedback he had received from Japanese citizens regarding the game. It's quite a lot of stuff, to be fair. 
I like how active they are. Like politicians are actually pretty active. Like that's that's it's good. So they should be. Uh, they were in one of the many complaints, almost common complaint, was the perceived cultural theft of Yasuke, uh, or perhaps it would be better to call it cultural invasion. So to this end, some even brought up the ongoing war surrounding Yasuke's various Wikipedia pages, which continues to see various parties attempt to claim that the African visitor was a full and true samurai rather than the lesser but still respected retainer that he actually was. One user even bemoaned, I've been fighting as an ordinary person, but the situation has grown so large that it may become an international issue. It's pretty full up. Another user raised the topic of Nihon University College of Law in Tokyo, Associate Professor Thomas Lockley's African Samurai, The True Story of Yusuke, a legendary black warrior in feudal Japan, itself was the main source for Yusuke's false interpretation as a samurai, and accused its conclusion as being, quote, based on his own imagination. <laughs> he just made it up. Fuck okay. it. Oh, this stuff's great. Even those who generally approved of diversity and inclusion initiatives found themselves unhappy with Ubisoft, with one individual telling Hamada, the recent drastic movements are good in nature, but they are excessive in their emphasis on Asian people and unnatural favouritism for black people. <laughs> That's because this game's not made for you. And it's not even made for black people, it's made to pander to a very small minority of individuals. Jesus. Further complaints include Japan's own government. Bureau of Justice has been hijacked by a woman who is a poly-college activist. The game depicting a grisly beheading and how the lies may become a fact outside of Japan. Some users compared it to the comfort women, which the Japanese government has apologised for on multiple occasions. What the fuck is going on here? So following his sharing of these responses, Hamada proceeded to provide even more insight into the public's opinion on the matter by retweeting several responses made to his ex post. Uh, since they seem to be saying that it is a historical fact, we should make them clearly state that it is a fiction and admit that Ubisoft is at fault for the content. These comments are amazing. These are all Japanese people. They're pissed. In addition, the production company has refused to accept any protests. The ex-account of the Japanese branch finally apologised for one clear copyright violation, ignored in the English version and elsewhere. Likewise, uh, says also the foreign media has also published articles defending the development and ridiculing the protests, and we believe that these moves to denigrate Japan are as problematic as the game itself. Look, I agree. I agree. P.S. In addition to more than a dozen other domestic and international works suspected of commercial copyright infringement, the theft of designs from national cultural properties was also pointed out. This historical rewriting is spreading in the web space, and its opponents are accused of racism. This is true. <laughs> we would like to add that even without the Yusuke issue, this media art is very damaging to Japanese culture. As of writing, Hamada has yet to announce any formal action regarding these complaints, including whether or not he will bring the topic of Assassin's Creed Shadows before the National Diet. Uh, notably, this is not the first time the upcoming game has drawn the ire of Japanese people. I've done some videos on that. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, look at that. Wonderful stuff. Super funny. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> Japanese politicians getting involved in a bloody game. All because people are so desperate to make this black samurai thing a thing. It's just, it's just pathetic. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear it. Drop it down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Turn those bell notifications on. Give the video a like and a share if you can. That'd be great. Uh, and I've got Patreon as well linked down below. Cheers, take care, bye-bye now. <laughs>